All right, we're going to talk about some footwork uh, exercises and some techniques that I use, things that help me develop my uh, foot technique. Uh, the first thing, this is a Tama Iron Cobra pedal. This is what I use. But the first thing I do is there's a toe stop, and it screws onto the footboard right here. What I do is I take that off as soon as I get the pedal. The reason why I do that is because I use a kind of a sliding technique, and I want to be able to slide as far forward as possible. And uh, you take that toe stop off, and this allows you to do that. Another thing I use is baby powder. Why, you ask, do I use baby powder? Well, I'll tell you. Sometimes the bottom of your shoe, which slides on the pedal, uh, gets sticky or wet and it sticks and it won't slide. So I had to figure out a way to use, uh, excuse me, I had to figure out a way to have that not happen. So I took the baby powder and I put a little on the carpet right by the pedal. Then I put my foot in there and kind of rub it around a little bit. And then when I put it on the pedal, it slides forward very easily. And uh, I'll show you a little exercise I use to basically work out my foot with this sort of technique. It goes like this. So you can see the pedal, the way it moves and the way my foot moves across the, the footboard, it has to slide forward. Um, Another technique that I use, and uh, you need to have a dry foot bottom, is the heel toe technique. I use this all the time, and it's very important. Um, let me show you what it is. It's similar to what I did on the hi-hat earlier, but on the kick drum, it sounds different. And I'll do it fast, and then I'll slow it down and show you what, what, what I used. Here it is. So what's happening is my heel comes down, that's one hit, and then my toe goes down, that's another hit. So you get this rocking motion. Uh, I'm going to use a groove to show you how this works. So I'll just play it. It goes like this. So what's nice about that is uh, it has this kind of a swing to it also. It's different than just hitting all the strokes down. Um, when, when I developed this heel-toe technique, I, I wanted to use it in a song. And that's kind of how I came up with the groove for Jane Doe, uh, as you saw Billy and I demonstrating. And I'll play the beat to Jane Doe, and, and you can see where I use the, the uh, heel-toe technique in this groove. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. The next thing I want to talk about is an exercise that was really helpful in strengthening my foot technique. The first thing you do is you take the spring off the pedal. Now the beater, as you can see, is floating freely. And you're probably wondering how this works. Well, I'll show you. Take the spring off the pedal, and this is what I do. Here we go. Now, I don't know if you can tell what's going on, but 
if you don't put, pick your foot up off the pedal, the beater will stay on the bass drum head. So it forces you to pick that foot up off the pedal and get your foot off the pedal. And that's, that's what I'm trying to develop because there's muscles in the front of your leg here that are very difficult to isolate and strengthen. And this exercise will isolate these muscles, strengthen them. It's kind of painful, it kind of hurts, but what I do is I do it five minutes with both feet every day. So I get a watch and I look at the watch and I just tie myself and force myself to do it. And doing this has really helped me to strengthen my foot, I gain control, Part, another benefit of this is it keeps your heel down. When your heel is down, you increase your control. That's what I use to develop my foot technique. Okay, well once you get all this little foot exercises together and you, and you try uh, to strengthen some of these muscles, what I'm doing now, this is an exercise that I use, and I started doing uh, double strokes on my feet, triplets, and then sixteenth notes. And I'll show you, this is something that I do now and it's good for like soloing over, but it's, uh, it just shows you how far you can go with this sort of uh, technique. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. There you go.